I'm aware we usually have question and answer, so we, we will open up the floor to, to, to a handful of questions um, if, if you're open to, to answering some questions, Mr. Mill. I am. Brilliant, brilliant. Let's start uh, with you, sir. So just to repeat the question, um, when you go online, Noah's name is, is linked to this, the company World Space, which I think is, is the description of the satellite launched. Um, and then the follow-up question was around um, Arts TV as a new TV station um, uh, that our gentleman here has maybe heard um, you attached to. Are you, uh, what's, what's, um, what is Arts TV, if that's a thing? So Arts TV is an investment I've made <coughs> along with some friends of mine and that's just an investment. Uh, I think it's managed very, very well. And uh, <coughs> I, uh, I believe it's going to be a successful business. I, uh, I'm working on something that is very exciting and if it's okay, I want to speak about it for two minutes. For sure. I am involved, I'm actually the chairman of the board of a new company that is being established called the Labawi International Academy. And <coughs> it is an amazing school. It was a sort of a best kept secret of Ethiopia it is uh, for five years they tested an education model and <coughs> i believe in this model incredibly incredibly it's tied to my own story basically labawi means a searcher for truth from deep in his heart and it's a high school named after people who want to be, who want to search for truth, who want to search for knowledge. Labhawi, I, I believe I'm told, means uh, a searcher for truth in Gez. The school insists that every student when they come into the school in ninth grade, it's a high school. When they come into school, they learn, they learn uh, gears. Every student learns gears. The school provides STEM education. It's a excellent education. So the education, the academic part, doesn't really, it's there. You get all the academic capabilities, plus you teach these students uh, as a mandatory form, is. It is like what in England, one of the top schools that educates high schools, that educates um, uh, the prime ministers of the United Kingdom and all senior government, il the elite, they have a system where they insist every student learn Latin. And their basis for doing that is because Latin helps expand the cognitive skills, the mental skills of people who learn the language. It's very difficult, it's very complex. But that's if you want to grow a European-based human being. If you want to grow an African-based human being, if you want to help him construct, if you want to hurt, help her dissect information, if you want her mind to expand, then this is 
an experiment. And I can't tell you by going, by saying, this is something that will happen for sure. What I can tell you is that students who hardly speak very good English or Amharic or, or, or good language skills come to the school and four years later, many of them end up in Ivy League schools in the United States with scholarships. The school takes the brightest students and wants to build the leaders of tomorrow. I'm interested in the school because it is a microcosm of what interests me most, which is Yasmi. In both cases, it's education. One is focused attention to detail. The other one is trying to reach with the same skills and detail, trying to reach a wider audience. Amazing. Who, who remembers Samira, who is here? We did a crowdfund for Samira, who went on to, to go to New York, who, um, when she was born, they, her, her family thought she was a boy. Um, so they didn't want to, uh, then when they found out she was a girl, were hugely disappointed. And that sparked something inside of her to want to go on and learn coding and a whole bunch of other stuff and taught herself just with a handmade keyboard how to win competitions. And um, she went through the program and now is in New York doing incredibly well. And so um, I think just some fruit of, 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 of the work that these guys are, are now doing. She's a straight A student. Uh, in the U.S. now. Amazing, amazing. We, we, we're looking for an update, actually. We can't wait to hear how she's getting on. Maybe we can get her to do a video for us or something in the next few months. Definitely. Amazing. Okay, I think we have time for a few more questions. We will go um, over here and then um, gentlemen there, and then we'll, we'll just see how we're doing. But let's keep it. Let, uh, let's go. So my sister has a, a business in, in nutritional foods. Um, and so some of the challenges, just the lack of awareness or, or education in, in what nutritious foods are or why they're so important. And so the question is around for Yasmi and, and the business, is this uh, a core part of the education? Um, so yes. The answer is yes. We would work with, we would do this actually if the respective ministries allow it. We would do this through the education system teach the children about nutrition so that they can go and teach their parents about the same. But we would definitely be, we w I don't want to say we would be doing the teaching, even in science and math, uh, the government has the content. What we provide is the way to be able to talk to teachers of teachers, the way the way to communicate. What we provide is the pipe between the content and the people that need it. Excellent. Um, say your name um, and just your question. So Emmanuel's question is around, is a, is a more philosophical one. He actually references something Noah said two decades ago, so um, I think he's followed you for that long. And um, the, the term that he wants just a little bit of elaboration around is semawi first. Semawi, that is my Amharic struggling. Semawi faras. Semawi faras. Semawi faras. A blue horse. So that's, uh, again, so that we can take more questions. That was a conference that was established in conjunction with Prime Minister Meles Zenawi and a group of very big entrepreneurs. And the conference was about how do you make entrepreneurs happen? What can the government do to facilitate the making of an entrepreneur? And I wanted, I was asked to provide a keynote speech, which I did. And 
I suggested that a, an entrepreneur is really an artist. He imagines things that are not there and he sh makes them happen. And Renoir has a painting of blue horses. You don't see blue horses. How does an artist come up with a blue horse? It's the same way that an entrepreneur comes up with a business idea. That was the context. They made a movie called The Blue Horse, and it had nothing to do with me. <laughs> 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 I love that. I love that. <laughs>